Welcome to Channel of Results, where we play a different deck list every video on Country Fried. And today we are going to be playing J Villains Abs and Tokens. Guys, I watched this on the uh, stream the other night. It was brilliant. I watched the video back too. I love this deck list, Jay. Thank you for posting it, man. Uh, but we did make some changes. So let's go ahead and take a look at these deck lists. Guys, before we take a look at this deck list, just real quick, uh, you don't see me playing a lot of Jay villain deck lists. It's not because I don't like him. It's because Jay will go to the bottom of the basement and find cards and make them work in a way that my brain doesn't really comprehend. I love watching it. I love watching his style. I love his brewing styles. But um, yeah, man, it just, his styles are so different than mine. It actually hurts sometimes, but he just makes stuff work, man. But uh, this one I watched on stream and I was like, cool, I can take this out the way he built it and be okay with it because it kind of just overlapped into a style that I play as well. Or I could change it up a little bit to make it my own, which I did. So this is Jay's deck list. I'm going to definitely link his channel and the deck list, his original deck list in the description below. It was a lot of fun. We went 3-0 and with this, so we went undefeated. However, one game I had the big cam on. I forgot to switch it over to the gameplay cam. So I'm debating whether I put that in as maybe a last game, and you guys can just skip through it if you want. But, uh, yeah, here's Jay's original list. There are two cards, though, that I definitely wanted to put in here, and I'll flash them on the screen real quick right up here. And then we'll take a look at my deck list. All right, guys, so here's a look at my deck list. So what I did is I kind of took out the combat trick card with the um, the if it kills your creature, you get to take it or you get to bring it back. And uh, I also took out herd migration. So herd migration is a great late game bomb. Uh, however, we had a lot, a lot of legendary creatures going on and a lot of tokens. And I was like, man, I just played a deck that had a lot of legendaries in it in the Mardu Dragons list. There were two creatures in it that I thought overperformed that I really wanted to fit into this deck list. So so what I did is I dropped wedding announcement by one. I took out the two herd migrations and then I took out the two combat tricks as well. And then with that, I had five open slots. So I put in two sadistic pilgrims in here just because of the ping of ping an opponent with life gain life when we got creatures coming in and out which we do with this deck list especially with jadar our resolute reinforcements and of course the rabble rousing that's going on plus we've also got torrens that puts one in play the king can put them in play adeline can put them in play i mean it just gets crazy with what tokens you're making so i definitely wanted the life gain and drain going on here um, the other one was Ratted Drabeek. With all the legendary creatures we got going on, I didn't want to get held up with any not being able to cast them. And Ratted Drabeek is just a great card, man. It's, like I said, it's my new Scoot Swarm. So we'll go through this deck list real fast. I'm sorry, this is going to be a long one, but uh, we're going to go through it real fast. So we got Resolute Reinforcements. It's got Flash. You drop it, you create a 1-1 one, one, uh, Soldier token as well. We have Jadar in here, which is a 1-1 one, one for 2. And then, of course, at the end of your turn, if you don't have a Decayed creature on the battlefield, you create a 2-2 two, two Decayed Zombie. We have Gallagreeters in here, so anytime a creature is coming into the field, you can put a plus 1-plus one, plus 1 counter on Gallagreeters. You can create a tap treasure token or you can gain two life we have sadistic pilgrim in here which is a 2-2 with death touch and then whenever uh, another creature enters the battlefield under your control you gain a life and then whenever another creature you control dies the opponent loses a life then we've got adeline which is three drop and her power is equal to the number of creatures that you have and then whenever you attack you create a 1-1 one, one human creature token uh, King Darien can give our tokens indestructible if we sacrifice it. And you'll see a game in here where we have Ratted Drabic and King Darien, and they're doing their thing where we can sacrifice King Darien and create or make all of our tokens X proof and indestructible. Really useful in this deck. You can also do the whole uh, pay five, put uh, a plus one, plus one counter on King Darien and create a one, one white soldier creature token as well, which ends up being a two, two because all your other creatures get plus one, plus one off of King Darien. Torrens is in here, Fist, uh, Fist of the Angels. I'm not going to go ahead and sneak peek this one at all, really. Um, I think we landed him once, and that's in the game where I messed up my camera. So I'm probably definitely going to make that into a game three, and you can just skip it if you want. Um, however, uh, the camera is big on it, but we we got to see it, and we got to see Sadistic Pilgrim, and we got to see Gala Greeters, and then in some of the other games, we didn't get to see that. Uh, the one and this one has training. It's a two-two, and then whenever you cast a creature spell, you create a one-one green-white human uh, 
soldier creature token with training and then training is whenever this creature attacks with another creature with greater power you put a plus one plus one counter on it so it can get really out of hand really fast especially if you can keep growing king darian we have a uh, queen in here uh queen's power and toughness is equal to the number of creatures that we control and then if one or more creature tokens would be uh, created under your control those tokens plus one 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 soldier creature token is created instead so your tokens can get really out of hand in here but you don't necessarily need the queen on the battlefield because you have other ways to generate tokens rata drabic is vigilance ward two it's a three three it's a four drop that ward two is beautiful um really puts it out of the it put it out puts it out of touch of spot removal the three three takes it away from cut down so you usually get to keep Rata Drabic on the field for a while. Um, and then, of course, other zombies you control have Vigilance. And then whenever another legendary creature you control dies, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's not a legendary and it's a 2-2 black zombie, in addition to its other colors and types. And it still has all the abilities as well. We have Kaya, the Geist Hunter, in here. Her plus one is creatures you control gain death touch until the end of turn, and you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on up to one target creature token that you control. We're really looking for that negative two ability, which until the end of turn, if one or more tokens would be created under your control, create twice as many of those tokens. And then, of course, her negative six is exile all cards from the graveyard to create a one, one white spirit creature token with flying for each card exiled this way. We have three spot removals in Infernal Grasp. It's two cost. You destroy target creature, lose two life. We have three wedding announcements instead of four, but you put it on at the end of your end step. You create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. And then when it gets three counters on it, you got to flip it, and creatures you get have plus one, plus one. And if you're attacking with two or more creatures, instead of creating the 1-1, one, one, you draw a card. Then we have Rabble Rousing in here, which is beautiful in this deck. It's got a hideaway of five. You look at the top five cards of your library. You get to put one under Rabble Rousing, and then whenever you attack with one or more creatures you create that many one one green and white citizen creature tokens if you control 10 or more creatures you may play the exile card without paying its cost so you just get to play that five uh whatever card you selected off the hideaway five for free but uh what we're really looking for is that generating all those one ones especially if we've got a king darian on the ground because then they're all two twos and then meat hook massacre we can use as board wipe or we can use it as insurance which you'll see in a game as well and then, uh, well, both actually, you utilize both ways. And then when it's on the battlefield, um, whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses a life. And whenever a creature an opponent dies, you gain a life. And then the lands, we've got a Ganjo, Seat of the Empire. You can do four damage to an attacking or blocking creature with it. Um, you got four planes, two swamps, one Takanuma's Abandoned Mire just to help us bring back a creature if we need to from the graveyard or a planeswalker. But you got a mill. And then you select. We got Besiju that can destroy an artifact or an enchantment or a non basic land for us. And then we got three forest, two caves, two shatter sanctums, two death cap glades, two overgrown farmlands, one proving ground, one garden, and one plaza of heroes. Guys, look, the land package. The flow was really smooth, which for a Jay Villain, it's an inside joke. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get flooded or droughted. That's a Jay Villain thing. But the land package was really smooth for me. The one thing that I was thinking about in this is trying to find a way to fit in maybe two or uh, go up to two or three with the Plaza Heroes. I really love this card. Uh, people still aren't reading in it into it uh, they still play directly into it which is it's three cost you exile plaza of heroes and target legendary creature gains hex proof and indestructible until the end of turn and it's a great card especially just back up uh, you can just combat you can kind of ambush during combat with uh, your opponent so guys there it is there's the deck list i know this is already going to be super long so i'm going to let you guys get to the gameplay stick around till the outro until then stay safe be happy and healthy Peace. Here comes some Abzan J Villain tokens. Alright, opponent goes first. We have a two drop into a three drop. We need to get another white source for Adeline. We'll keep. Okay, so green stuff, tear asunder, and stuff like that. Oh no, okay. So we're gonna be in chance. All right, we need another swamp fast. 
Alright. Um. Yeah, we'll go here. Buy some time. See if they want to get rid of that. If they want to waste their time to get rid of that, that's fine. If they want to keep doing this, that's fine. Fine. No blocks. Uh, that's another white source. Hmm. We guarantee another black source will have removal. God, I don't know, man. Don't know. <laughs> Guarantees us the black source. That means we could do it on three. As long as they don't give another counter to Kami, we're fine. We're not fine. Nothing is fine. So it is the Kami we gotta remove. Definitely. Alright, so hopefully they don't have some way to exile creatures. If they do, I mean, I guess that's fine. I don't really dig it, but I guess it's fine. They're gonna get the Kami back. We've got two meat hooks. We still need another swamp. That's fine. Yeah, play them all out while you can, please. Sure. Think we're going to uh, go ahead and let this go through. So we can attack in, see what they do. We'll drop a treasure token. Maybe gain two life. Nah, drop a treasure token. No blocks. Let's attack in. Duh. Now 
We only need to do this for three. Unless I'm mistaken. Nice. All right, let's see what they got going on. They'll bring this in, so we don't want to attack into it. We definitely want to set up for the next meat hook. So we'll bring in Sadistic Pilgrim with Death Touch. on the ground before we do this. This all works. for five. Nice. Okay. We'll get their Kami back. That sucks. God, man. Kami, man. And they reload so fast, too, so... Um... Go right at Draven. So that way when we do drop down Rabble Rousey, if we attack in, we can at least get another token off of it. It's fine. We will attack in this next turn. I'll just use Plaza of Heroes. There we go. Scare them off of it. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. See if they block up right of Draybeak and they didn't read Plaza of Heroes. And that's fine.
Okay. We're just going to get more and more. Oh, God, man. Okay. We need to start pushing fast, though. Sure. Prefer some spy removal. That'd be amazing. GG's. Yeah, I dig it. This month's Patreon rewards feature some of the most impactful lotuses in Magic's history. Check out all the details and sign up at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, we go first. Yeah, man, I don't hate this. We'll keep it. Hmm. waiting on our opponent second player man i mean all i've been doing is playing second so i got first playing this person it's a good name <laughs> it's a good name all right they're going orzov see if they drop down the underdog If they go Liliana or Trespasser. Sure. So one Adeline down. There we go. Sure, meat hooks on the uh, horizon here. It sucks. I would have liked to have gotten ours down too, but we'll do what we got to do. Hmm. Emperor, maybe. Seed of a ganjo. Damn. Hopefully they miss a drop. Oh my god, man. If they get me hook on this, we're screwed. Oh, sunset? That's fine. Sunset's fine. Hopefully they don't have any spot removal. Right now it looks like they're just hung up, so... They keep touching their tenacious underdog. I have no idea why.
see if they double block, triple block. Hmm, okay. Still waiting. They're gonna try and get the king, but I'm gonna sack him when they try to exile. You're just underwhelming. They may not know how Rata Drabic works. They might drop a samurai, but. They do not. They do not. That's why Ratadre makes a beast. Come on, second player. Don't hold us up, man. If they just rope, we'll fast forward. All right, so I'm guessing they're just super salty. What's really cool, though, is with the token of uh, of King, this dude right here, Darian, we can sack it again and give our stuff all hex, uh, all of our tokens hexproof and um, indestructible again. So hopefully they don't find a land and a meat hook. Actually, we could just put this meat hook out and ensure it doesn't happen. So we're gonna do that. Now the stack would go and they just kill themselves. So we'll see if they're gonna punch themselves in the face or if they're gonna rope again. And if they do, we'll fast forward it to the end again. Man, I like this deck, Jay. I like it, dude. Salty AF, man. Salty AF. Ah, <laughs> oh, GG's. All right, guys, so there was gameplay. Look, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna put in that third game. It was actually our first game, but the camera was this camera, so it blocked up like a quarter of the, the board, but uh, it was against a band. Uh, kind of ramp heavy control list and uh, we still just plowed right through it so it was nothing super exciting but it goes to show uh, with this deck list you can still go against control and do just fine um, all you got to do is just keep pushing the control out of their hand so yeah there's a lot of gas in this deck list so Jay I definitely man I love it man thank you for uh, putting this one out there to the world and this is his original list on the screen guys I'll leave links to both deck lists below but this is Jay Villain's monster, so definitely credit where credit is due. And if you guys haven't caught Jay Villain on his live stream or his channel, I would definitely suggest go doing so. So with that, until next time, stay safe, be happy and healthy. Peace. Much love, y'all. Take care.